Hi everybody, thank you for watching Crazy Narcissist Sex Girlfriend. My name is David. The last video I made was about the how siblings turn out differently under narcissistic parents. How you'll have one that turns out a narcissist and the other one seems to be fine or lots of empathy being able to care about people a lot. This video I want to talk about uh, narcissistic parents. And this should help you guys. If you guys wonder if you have narcissistic parents, this should help. If you um, just want something to relate to, some validation, you know they are, but you know, th this is going to help. You know, I've come up with tons of different examples of uh, behaviors and traits of narcissistic parents. Um, basically, I think you have a few different types, and it seems like one, you got the parent that just bails, that abandons, that has nothing to do with the child's life forever. A lot of fathers like that. Um, then you have the ones that seem to hate you and want you away from them. Period. That's it. Then you have the ones that hate you and controls every part of your life. Then you have ones that wants you to depend on them but kicks you out of the house. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to some of those. And what this causes is serious attachment issues and dependent issues later in life. And I honestly think this is how it kind of goes. I think a narcissistic parent, I think a narcissist, when they're a child, they want to be the head of the household. They want a family of their own because they want to be the head of the household. They aren't so much like, I want to get away from this household. I want to be me and this and that. They literally want, they, they look at the family dynamic and they say, I want to be the head of the household. I should be, you know. And they like the fact of having children uh, look up to them want them, depend on them. They like that idea. Um, I believe when a narcissistic mother especially has a child, I think they, they it's hard. I don't think they, they go through the detachment process and let that child be their own person themselves. I think there's some serious fucking issues going on with that. Um, I believe... The mother thinks that child is like an extension of themselves. And they, since all they care about really is how they look on the outside, they want that child to be everything that they want to be. So it's like an extension of their false ego. And that bar is too high for their child to ever achieve, so they immediately fail. Um, and, and that will cause dependency issues. You know, this, this child will, will feel so fucking dependent on them. And that's what the parent caused. Um, it's like, and then you have a lot of times where they hate you and they want you dependent on them, but then they want you gone. But at the same time, they don't want to be alone. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. So here are some examples I have. Okay. And I think these are fucking great. Um, this is stuff I've put together and found and I've also related to and examples that I've come up with from other um, clients and stuff. Um, the perfectionist parent. Always seeking power and all they care about is appearance. So they want you to be perfect, you know, and you can't. That's what I was talking about earlier. And they will care about your appearance they make you have great appearance. They may buy you nice clothes and take care of you because they want you to look good for them. The dogmatic or cult-like narcissistic parent. Inflexible discipline. It's the best way to categorize that or characterize that. Their, their discipline is so fucking dogmatic and cult-like. Uh, deprivation. This is controlled by neglect, withholding love or attention. Abandonment. Done on purpose by way of silent treatment. Appeasement. Reward bad behavior. Punish good behavior just for peace. So they might punish, they might reward some good, the good child, or they might reward the child being bad over here in the corner, and then over here, the good child, punish him, whatever it takes just for them to have peace. They don't care. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about there. If you have a, a narcissistic parent and you have a sibling. Um, 
loyalty manipulation rewards the bad child ignores the good one that's another example of the same thing um horrible this is horrible horrible damaging shit helicopter parenting helicopter parenting it's like micromanaging the child's life where and i've seen this where they don't the the, the narcissistic parent doesn't even want the child to get help it's not okay to go get medicine to see a doctor therapist oh fuck no can't do that um helicopter parenting the deceivers the deceiver narcissistic parent is well regarded in the community but abuses the children at home and another thing to call that is the public image manager so it's like all they care about is their public image right and the children suffer, and everyone in the house suffers, and they fight like crazy, but you fucking, you better not say a fucking word to anybody, right? And and everybody in public thinks they're great. They might be um, something to have to do with some kind of social leader in the community. The paranoid parent, accusing child, accusing their child, they're up to no, uh, no good. And, and it's all these falsely ac accusations. You did this. You did that. No, you didn't. Yes, you did. You did this. Uh, who did this? Who broke this? You broke that. I saw you. I know you broke it. You always break it. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing over there? You're up to no good. Uh, Johnny, I haven't heard from you in 20 minutes. What the fuck are you doing? You know, shit like that. It's just, it's a fucking abuse. Um, no friends allowed. And this is something huge that I've seen with narcissistic narcissistic mothers due to their daughters no friends allowed and especially the same age and gender i know you guys can relate to that uh role reversal the parent decides that they're the child and you're the parent they put the responsibilities onto you horrible not your business so everything is not your business. The, child, the, the narcissistic parent that always tells the child that. It's not your business. It's not your business. Siblings causing problems. Not your concern. Oh, your brother over there doing that. Don't worry about it. It's not your fucking problem. Worry about yourself. That kind of shit. It's like, yeah, but why are you yelling at me when Johnny over there is fucking, you know, <laughs> doing this bad shit over there? It, it's just, yeah. Ultra egalitarianism. Younger child does what the older does. So it's like they allow the younger child to do what the older is doing, even though that it's too old, too mature of a thing for that younger child to do. Oh, it's okay. The older child's doing it, so the younger child can do it too. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, go ahead and do what, what you know. Johnny, you can do what Matthew's doing. Go ahead and follow Matthew over there, even though Matthew's six years older than you, and you shouldn't be anywhere fucking near what Matthew's doing. Go ahead. Or they make the older child wait till the younger child's mature enough to do it, right? So say you have a 10-year-old and a, or say you have a 10-year-old and a six-year-old, right? And there's something, I don't want, I, I can't come up with an example, but there's something that you should really wait till you're 10 years old to do it, to be doing that, right? So the six-year-old's too young, but they'll make the 10-year-old even wait till the six-year-old is 10 to do it. I hope that makes sense. Because it's common. It's fucked up. <clears throat> the guard dog. The parent who blindly attacks any family member, right? With the, who has the slightest negative action towards their esteemed family member. It might be their, the other parent. It might be their, their, you know, their child, their golden child. Blah, blah, blah. Um, my baby forever will not allow the child to grow up and not allow them to take care of themselves. Makes them completely dependent on them. The cheerleader. One parent cheers on the other parent for abusing the child. Pretty cool. <clears throat> There's the one that's the narcissistic parent that's along for the ride. They're a non-biological parent who just doesn't care. Whether it be, you know, their adopted parent, their... Um, um, you know, by marriage, step parent, you know, just, well, you're not my biological child. I don't care. I don't care what you do. I don't care how you feel. I don't care about you. I'm not giving you any attention. Fuck you. Uh, the politician, narcissistic parent, makes promises with no intention to keep them. 
Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, we can do that. Oh, yeah, you want to do that? Sure, yeah. Hey, if you do this, I'll give you this. Never get it, right? Or here's a good one. It's taboo. The parent that says everything is taboo that has to do with sexuality in any way, pregnancy, naked, uh, uh, romance, um, your period. Oh, no, don't talk about this. It's taboo, you know. Okay, and here's the last two. The identified patient, that's the abusive parent, selects a child for therapy, right, while completely ignoring all dysfunctions of the family and keep them secret. So it's like, yes, we have all this fucked up shit going on in the family, mostly caused by me, but I'm going to pick little Johnny to go to therapy because he's the problem. He's, he's a problem, not us. It's Johnny, right? And then you have a step further, the Munchausen syndrome, which is when the parent purposefully makes the child sick or ill just for attention from the doctors. Sick. Sick. And this shit happens. This is fucking common as hell. And I know every one of you that has narcissistic parents can identify with probably at least half that bullshit. Um, so, I mean, I hope that helps. Hope you guys can just kind of shed a little light on, you know, if you think that your parents are narcissists or whatnot. But if they're doing any of that shit, no matter what, it's wrong. No matter if they're a narcissist or not. Or if you think they loved you or not. Or if you think they're sorry or not. It's wrong. Wrong. Thank you for watching, everybody. All right, love yourself first. Take care. Bye-bye.